Talmud asks, um, not written so clearly, so I'll try to, why, um, someone may ask, why is it so important to be so from? Uh, I'll live a good life, not care so much, and, um, and I'll be easy on the from kites. Something about the neshama. The neshama will say, um, "See the neshama." And the neshama will go up and will do his thing, work me, all the way. Yeah, when the neshama goes up, he'll have to deal with the. Uh, is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. So why should you worry about suffering now? Let the neshama worry about it later. Yeah. You don't do mitzvahs because you're afraid of suffering. You do mitzvahs because you're afraid that the Ebishtet is suffering. When you get, your neshama goes to Gan Eden and you find out that the Ebishtet was suffering, there's nothing you can do about it. It's too late. Here, you can still fix it. Because if you do tshuva, the Ebishtet gets pleasure, not suffering. So you really have to remember that this is not, this is not what, what it used to be before the Baal Shem Tev and before the Alter Rebbe. You're not trying to avoid punishment. You're trying to give the Ebeshter what he needs from you. How careful should you be about that? Well, if you're doing it for him, then you have to do it that he should, that he should be happy. Not that you should be happy. So if you're going to do me a favor and get me a coffee, you don't even care whether I want sugar in it? You're going to get me a coffee without sugar? Thank you very much. I don't like it. <laughs> so if you're going to do me a favor, so, so do it. To, so do me a favor. Not a half a favor. So if you're doing a mitzvah for the Ebishta, what do you mean you'll do it a little bit sometimes? This is not the way he likes it. So what are you doing? <laughs> 